After the success of the 1970 auction, Channel 10 used some of the proceeds to acquire Firing Line, the David Suskind Show, and present live color coverage of the annual circus parade. So, when May 10, 1971 rolled around, Southeast Wisconsin showed their support of Spring into Auction Week on Channel 10. The Channel 10 crew was in place. The volunteers were ready to answer the phones. Items were on the set, and the talent was about to be queued. Let the great TV auction begin. The auction was off to a great start. For $16,000. Hey! Isn't that great? That is just tremendous, $16,000, and a long, long way to go yet. And it compares with last year when we only had $11,000 at this time. So we're well ahead of the game if we can keep those wonderful people out there bidding on all the fine things that we have to sell tonight. One of the reasons we are ahead of the game is that viewers had many valuable and interesting items to bid on. This is a very fine factor do donated by the J.I. Case Company of 700 State Street in the city of Racine. Make year-round yard care fun again with this fine seven horsepower model number 117 compact tractor by J.I. Case Company. It comes with hydraulic drive and is equipped with a 34-inch mower. It's built like the big ones. There were items for everyone. And a few that needed a special home, like the sheep, or your very own steer. Our host kept the auction entertaining. And you never knew who was going to show up as a celebrity guest. Some of our early sponsors included Johnson Wax, the Schlitz Brewing Company, and Wisconsin Gas. The 1971 Great TV Auction also featured an evening dedicated to local artists and art. Over 160 works by Wisconsin artists, donating paintings, sculpture, and more and some of the art represented the times, the 1970s. Not only did some art represent the 70s, our 1971 Great TV Auction Fashion Show did as well. And if you like the fashions, you could bid on the clothes at home, and our phone operators were standing by to take your bid. The 1971 auction was another memorable moment of auction history on Milwaukee Public Television.